Hello and welcome back to another one. And if you don't know by now, we are getting new music tomorrow, Griselda's debut album on the Shady Records, which features Raekwon, 50 Cent and Eminem, dropping tomorrow, so make sure you check that out, which leads us to the point of this video, about Westside Gun's recent tweet. Later on in the video, we'll also talk about Fabulous talking about Eminem, so stick around. Apparently, writing on dollar bills aren't the only thing the Shady Gang at the moment share right now, and if you're wondering what I mean by that, remember this. Well, taking shots at XXL magazine is another one they share, and Westside Gone Conway's brother took aim at XXL recently for ignoring their Shady Records debut album What Would Chine Do in their list of anticipated hip hop albums of 2019. XXL tweeted on the 27th projects dropping before the end of 2019 from the likes of Kanye, XXXTentacion, Cameron, The Game, and more, and they failed to include the one album that's just around the corner by Griselda, and Westside Gone was having none of it. He responded with, so Griselda, what would Chine do not coming out Black Friday? I swear I hate you bombs, double XL, sincerely the new kings of New York. Anybody don't like it at the office can get it. Now of course, some will say that was a bit too harsh, but remember, this response just adds to the promo for the upcoming album promo that he believes XXL failed to do, so he saw an opportunity to lash out at them and also do some promo for the project at the same time. Users have reacted to this tweet and I'll read a couple for you guys. The user states, I mean look at how they do their freshman list for the past couple of years, that should tell you all you should know, what would Chine do gonna be mean. Another one, we are talking about the same people who think Lil Uzi Vert had one of their illest freshman freestyles, right? Many seem to agree with him that XXL is pretty much trash. That's because they don't listen to quality hip hop, they always find the mainstream rappers who put out subpar work, they don't want y'all to win. So they basically saying Griselda is the quote unquote and more. Some however disagree with this approach. Number one, take that up with Shady and Rock Nation. Maybe Double XL sincerely didn't know y'all dropping an album. Number two, Kanye West, Cameron, and Fabulous have over 20 years in the game, so they're probably just naming the more common commercial artist. Number three, patience is power. So it's over to you guys. Was blasting Double XL the right move? Or do you agree with the last user that believes he should take it up with Shady and Rock Nation? So we Essentially, he should blame his label. While y'all think on that, let's move on to the next topic at hand. But before we get to that, remember to hit the like button if you enjoy content like this, and if you're new, also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. It's important to add that about the bank remix that will be out with the album tomorrow, many of you guys based on the comments in my video about the upcoming album may be disappointed with something that was expected, but for those like me, we are a-okay with it. So Fabulous recently stopped by at 99 Jams Miami and talked about his dream collaborations with new rappers and OGs with legendary status, and in regards to Eminem, he was asked about who is on his bucket list that he would love to collaborate with. I'll quote his answer here. There are still a lot of young artists that I like that I haven't worked with. I would like to work with some of the OGs I definitely would work with, wanna work with Nas, I would like to work with Eminem, you know, cause I've always been a fan of his work, but a lot of young guys too. So there you go guys, another rapper of status that would like to collaborate with Eminem, part of his dream collaborations before he kicks the bucket. And it's funny how some Conway fans try to take a dump on Eminem's verse on Bang, a verse that in my opinion lifted the song but to each their own. It remains Conway's biggest song, now that's a fact that doesn't care about the feelings of some fans, so that's certainly a win for him. And I hope Fabulous and Eminem get on a song together in the future. Royce the 5'9 had one with him in 2019, Summer on Lock, and that was fire. If you haven't checked it out, do so now, there's a video on YouTube. So leave your thoughts below, like and subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next one.